Hi, Janice. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. too. Incredible property. 100 steps that way, you have the beach. It's amazing. Over here, acres upon acres of marshland. We love it. We love everything about it. We've been here about 10 years. There's only one thing we don't love about it. We can't seem to plant anything. Nothing grows. You can see we have these containers over here above ground, but that's it. So you've tried and tried. There's yeah. a couple different reasons. See this white mark? Yeah, on yeah. The, that's the salt. It's the salinity in the soil. Not a lot of plants tolerate salt on their feet. So that is a difficulty as well as the soil, it's peat is decomposed plant material as your soil base is very dense very acidic and you can't grow anything here so it wasn't my fault that nothing grew it wasn't but i do have some good news for you we have a plan to beautify your area and offer other benefits <gasps> as well i can't wait Janice, I'd like to introduce you to an old friend of mine, Peter Fippen. He is an environmental scientist, and he's worked for years on trying to restore these marshlands right behind Hi, your Peter. house. Hi, Janice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Wow, what a beautiful sight you have here. Did you realize that you're sitting right on the part of the Great Marsh? It's a 25,000-acre marshland. It's the largest contiguous marsh in New England. I did not know that. Yes, and it's home to a lot of important species. Native grasses and plants all find home here. It's also home to fin fish that spend part of their life cycle. These are ocean fish that come in, either spawn or feed or whatever. There's also shellfish, as well as it's a major stopover on the North Atlantic Flyway for shorebirds that come along here. Oh yeah, we see so many birds. Yeah. Do you realize that you also have an impact? Your property potentially has an impact on this marsh. What happens is when it rains out, Rain falls down on your roof and on your driveway, on your lawn, and it runs down into the marsh. The first flush, which is the first quarter inch of rainfall, carries all kinds of contaminants, either fluids from your car, fertilizers from your lawn, dog waste, and whatever happens to be on the road that comes down your driveway and flows down into the marsh. This changes the water quality of the marsh itself, causing all kinds of problems, allowing non-native invasive species to populate the marsh, as well as killing off uh, some of the native grasses and, and vegetation that lives in the marsh. That sounds horrible. It is. Peter and I have been working on a design for you, and we have designed a rain garden so you could help with that impact. Wow, what's that? So your driveway pitches this way. All the water rushes down this way. Mm -hmm. So this rain garden that we have designed, we're going to make a bed starting here and wrapping around this portion and of the driveway and we're going to also dig down about 18 inches remove that really tough peat mass of soil we're going to put in flowering shrubs and native grasses mm. everything's going to be native but what the function of this is to catch that first runoff and it's going to filter all those contaminants and stop it before it goes out to destroy and harm any of the marshland that sounds perfect so you feel like digging a hole i'm excited all right let's get some shovels. do it Tough, huh? This is not an easy job. There is a lot of clay. It is. With our hole at the right depth, we're going to add one to two inches of coarse sand all along the bottom. Okay. I think that's good. All right, Janice, we are going to unload the plants and put them in the wheelbarrow. I like to lay the plants down in the truck bed, protects them from the wind. It doesn't damage them <laughs> Stood up by itself. All right, so we're going to take these out of the pots and place them, and then we're going to backfill around them. I'd like them staggered. All right. And after they're placed, we'll go along and score the roots. I know, they're gorgeous. They are so beautiful. They're going to sound really amazing in the wind. Yeah. So, all the plants are placed. What do you think? Beautiful. I love this. This is called switchgrass. It's a native grass. It keeps this vertical, upright structure. Sways in the wind. It's just beautiful to listen to and watch. What happens when the snow plow comes and plows, puts the snow on top? Well, you can cut them down at the end of the season. Snow could come on top, and in the spring, they'll emerge again. Great. 
And so then you come down here to anchor this corner, we have Clethra, which is summer sweet is a common name. And it's just it's starting to flower right now. See that it's mm. you're gonna smell it, it's like a sweet peppery yeah. smell. But it's a native plant and it's gonna be hardy for this situation. Um, over here we have two different blueberries and the blueberries are going to be great for the birds but you probably don't want to eat them since we're filter filtering off all the contaminants. But we have two different varieties uh, for the cross-pollination that will produce more berries. Great. So happy all birds. Ha they'll be happy birds. I can't wait to see them come. All right, so we're going to backfill these plants with a third coarse sand third compost and a third bark mulch. Bark mulch and the coarse sand are going to act as a filtration system to filter out the contaminants and the compost is going to give nutrients to the plants. Sounds good. And now we're going to water in the plants to settle in the soil and get the plants established. Then we'll put down a layer of mulch. How's it look? Great. Yep. Nice. That's the way to do it. Well, Janice, keep on watering just like this for about another month, once a day, and that's all that it'll take for the plants to become established, and after that, it's up to rain, and rainwater will keep them alive. Oh, that's great. And when it rains, that runoff is going to hit this rain garden we just built, and then you're doing your part to help the marshland. Happy to do my part. Thank you so much for your help. Thanks Thank for you. having us.